Okay, fabulous fourth graders, let's get out your problem set. We're going to go to page uh, 45. So get to page 45. Oops, there's Paulo. Gotta let him in. So go ahead and start on these problems using the standard algorithm. <coughs> that means you should you should pause the recording, go ahead and hit pause, and then come back to check your answers. Okay? So go ahead and hit pause. Welcome back, fourth grader, whoever is paused and come on back. We're only going to show a, a few of these. So let's go to B. And B is 17,525 minus 13,502. Okay, 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. 5 minus 5 is 0. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 4,023. And if we add these together, we should get that. Let's continue on with E, and it's 6,500, subtract 470. Okay, zero minus zero is zero, but look, we're running into a problem. We're gonna decompose a 100, and make this 10 tens, or 100. 100 minus 70, or 10 tens minus seven tens is three tens. 400s minus 400s is zero, and bring down to six, 6,030. And then let's do H. 431,925, uh, subtracting 204, 815. Okay, hope you did this right. Five minus five is zero, two minus one is one, nine minus eight is one. Here we can't take four thousands away from one thousands, so we'll decompose the ten thousands to two ten thousands and make this eleven thousand. Eleven thousand minus four thousand, ten, nine, eight, seven thousands. Two uh, ten thousands minus zero ten thousands remains two, and then four thousands minus, uh, excuse me, forty thousands minus uh, twenty thousands are four ten thousands minus two thousands is two. Add these together, we should get that. All right, let's go on to our problem set now the word problems. It says, draw a tape diagram to represent each problem. Use numbers to solve and write your answer as a statement. And then we'll check our answers. So let's see. What number must be added to 13,875 to result in a sum of 25,844? So this is what it would look like, your tape diagram. So we want to wind up with 25,884. What we do know is 13,875. What we don't know is what number to add to that to make that. So how do we figure this out? We'll have to go 25,884 less 13,875. And I'm going to do it on this piece of paper. I like this example because here we have it right away. Oh, I'm in the camera. I didn't really check. Let me lower that lower a little bit. So I can't take five ones away from four ones, so I'm going to take away a 10 and make this 14. I see I took away one 10 and that became that four became 14. 14 minus 5, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 7 minus 7 is 0. 8 minus 8 is 0. 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have to write a statement. Uh, you must add 12,009 to 13,875 to make our result in 25,884. And there you have it. If you need to pause, I would certainly understand. <coughs> Let's read our next problem. 
and I'm going to do this on, on a piece of paper so I can write big. It says, uh, artist Michelangelo was born on March 6, 1475. Author Mim Fox was born on March 6, 1946. How many years after Michael, Michelangelo or Michelangelo was born, was Fox born? So the way we do this is we take the number, the birth year, and subtract. So we take Fox's birth year and subtract Michelangelo's birth year. So 1946 minus 1475. 1946 minus 1475. And that's how we're going to figure this out. Go ahead and give it a shot. And I'm going to start my sentence. Fox was born blank years after Michelangelo. He's such a great artist that he was only known by one name, like Cher. All right, six minus five is one. We need to borrow uh, 100, so that becomes 800. And this becomes 14 tens. Our four, 14 tens are 140. We're taking away 7 tens from 14 tens. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is 7. 8 minus 4, we're just cutting that half, it becomes 4. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So we could say uh, Fox was born 471 years after Michelangelo. All right. Let's take a look at problem number 5. You can pause if you need to. Always good to pause if you have to. Um, Okay. So the problem set right here. Our next one, number four. It says, during the month of March, 68,025 pounds of king crab were caught. If 15,614 pounds were caught in the first week of March, how many pounds were caught in the rest of the month? We're going to save that problem. We're going to do that problem together one-on-one, -on -one, and maybe we'll do the other one one-on-one -on -one together tomorrow, okay? I'll keep the third graders busy with something, and we'll tackle these problems together, because I'd really like to talk to you about that one. It's one of my favorites of Eureka Math. So much so I have a poster of it in the room. All right. See you in a little bit. Log on to Zern until I come get you. Bye for now.